Scott Hawkins died after he was beaten in his dorm room, allegedly by his roommate, Coran Jones. Campus police responding to reports of the disturbance found Scott lying injured on the floor, his alleged attacker standing near him with a knife. Police shot Karan Jones, and Scott was rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. And it was at that hospital, UC Davis Medical Center, where our story begins tonight. News 10's Nick Monticelli is live in Santa Clara, where a letter from UC Davis Med Center showed up. Nick? Well, Dale, here in Santa Clara is where Scott Hawkins' parents live. Now, just two days ago, they received this startling letter from the hospital, charging them $30,000 for five minutes in the emergency room. The letter also told Scott, who passed away two weeks ago, not to come back because of payment issues. On top of everything Gerald Hawkins and his family has gone through, Oh my God, mm -hmm. uh, I think this might be a bill. He never fathomed he'd get a bill and an untastefully written letter addressed to his son, Scott. It's impossible for me to describe how stunning it was. I the envelope came from the UC Davis Medical Center. The first page was a bill, $29,000 in emergency room costs. The second, a letter to the patient saying he was considered indigent and shouldn't come back for treatment. I can't believe that in any country besides the United States, no civilized country, that the parents of a murdered boy would receive out of the blue this, this bill for $29,000 and, and such an insulting letter. First came the initial shock. We had 48 hours of, of real agony. Then came a harsh blow to their healing process as the letter came the day after his funeral. And then this arrived you know, right around 12 hours later in the mail. And yes, I would say that this uh, really torpedoed. Uh, so whatever, whatever gains we had made to that point. Carol Gann, a spokeswoman for UC Davis, told us this was all an automated accident, saying we deeply regret that a clerical error caused them to receive a letter that brought even more distress. The patient's death in the emergency department should have been flagged as a death in the outpatient record. And she's going... So now Gerald will work on getting hospitals to add a human touch to automated systems while still trying to memorialize his son. His smile there was absolutely genuine. He was just thrilled to be there. And, and even now my hands are, are really shaking too much to hold it because this is where, where he died. He... The hospital has put a billing specialist on this issue, and Gerald believes everything is being handled through his insurance company. The hospital also said that letter was never intended for the Hawkins. Now, Dylan Christina, many are wondering how that bill got to $29,000 after just five minutes in the emergency room. Uh, the same spokeswoman said that those prices are correct and are standard for the level of care Scott received. Unbelievable and so sad for his parents to get that letter in the mail. One can't imagine. You know, if that's the case on $29,000 for five minutes work, maybe they would like to uh, send the family and a very specific itemized bill along with that apology and we'll be happy to do a follow-up story. Yeah. The bill that they received was uh, itemized uh, somewhat, if you could say. There were a few things on there. One, you could say, uh, you could see that Scott was intubated at one point. So, uh, yeah, the, the bill is itemized, but not very clearly. So, yeah, Mr. Hawkins is probably going to do something to figure out exactly what happened in that emergency room. All right. Nick, thanks. Thank you, Nick.